Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Joshua Duchesne. I'm the guitarist on Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the chord structure for the song Rail Hoppin'. If you haven't yet done so, check out part one where I talk about the basics of the song, including the core chords that are used as well as the strum pattern and some other things like the tempo and time signature. Otherwise, let's hop on in. I designed this chord chart and I made it available as a free downloadable PDF through a link in the description below. Check it out and let me know if you find this kind of thing helpful. So for this intro chord pattern, we're going to be hanging out around our root E5, then we're going to move to the G5 and the A5. I'll show you how that looks. So that's that first part. The next little chump we're going to go into is going to the C5, then the D5, then back to that E. So I'll show you that now. So here's the intro all together. Alright, so now we'll go into the verse. I'll divide this into two chunks as well. The first part of the verse starts on our E5. We go to a G5. And then we also go to this B5. And you notice on this B5, what I'm doing here, similarly to the E5 where I do this bend on the G, what I'm doing here instead is on four, I am opening the B to an A and then hammering down back onto the B on the four and. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the first half of the verse. I'll show you that together now. The second half of the verse gets a little more exciting here. So we start out on this E, then we go to a G5, then we go right to an A5, then do a C5, D5, and then we do a cool little progression from the G to the A to the B, and then back to our root. So I'll show you that all together now. slow it down to show you what that looks like a little slower. Alright, so the second verse is exactly the same except in the second half when we move from that C5 to that D5. You don't actually go up to the D5, you just hold that C5. So I'll show you what that looks like for the second half of the second verse. The rest is identical. So if you notice, the only difference is I don't slide from the C to the D. Otherwise, it's all the same. Next is the bridge. So this riff is pretty fun. Uh, right here, we start on the B5. And we do that little hammer on thing I was telling you about where you uh, open on four and then hammer down on four and. Then you slide up to C, C5, and you do the same pattern with that same pull off and hammer on from A to C. Then we move down to A and do the same pattern where we're opening up that D and G string and hammering those on as well. And then back to our E5. Back to the B again. Back to the C. Down to the A. And then we go to a B, single B hit. And then we have this cool little line here on the G string. Four, three, two, one, O. Oh. So bum, 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 bum. And then we do a pull here on this fourth fret on the D string and a pull off. 
So I'll show you what that looks like together. So I'll slow that down real quick so you can see it all together slowly. Alright, so after the bridge, we just go back into the core verse riff. So after that final verse plays through, we have another G, A, B progression, and then there's a cool little riff we do before going back into our E5 chunky section for the outro. So I'll show you that. So that little riff there, what I'm doing is I start on the second fret of G, and then I hammer on to three, pull back off to two, pull off to open, and then I hit the second fret on D, and pull off to open there as well. So slowed down, it looks like this. After that cool little ditty, we go right back into our intro riff for the outro. And it ends slightly differently, but overall it's pretty much the same as the very first riff in the song. We have that E5, then we go to G, A, E5, C5, D5, D5. I'll show you that one more time. Nice and chunky. Alright, so that's the core chord progression for the entire song of Rail Hoppin' from Where the Water Tastes Like Wine. Please like the video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you get notifications when I post future videos and future tutorials. Also, if you really want to support me and the composer Ryan Ike, please buy the soundtrack from the Bandcamp link below, and that money will go directly to supporting us so we can continue making cool music and so that I can continue making tutorial videos for you. I also accept cryptocurrency tips and donations, so please check my tip jar addresses below, and feel free to send me a little of your favorite crypto. I will be eternally grateful. Also, go get Where the Water Tastes Like Wine on Steam. Phenomenal game, beautiful art, amazing storytelling, the writing is awesome, the voice acting is amazing. Like, Sting is one of the voice actors. Like, like the Sting, that dude, is a voice actor on this game. Like, blows my mind. So definitely go check that out, and uh, thanks for supporting us. Um, I've been Joshua Duchesne. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next video.